Well, copper thieves have hit again, and more of the H1 freeway is in the dark tonight. Station officers make six copper theft arrests over the last two months. But it is a small den and a big problem. Just one foot of this copper wire goes for $3, making just these two small piles worth hundreds. There's probably a couple hundred thousand dollars gone out of here already. Copper thefts across green country continue to be a big problem. In tonight's Crime Tracker 3, one of the fastest growing crimes in the valley is costing taxpayers millions and putting safety at risk. We're talking about copper theft. Good evening, everyone. An airport left without power. A man badly burned, all apparently in the latest bid to steal copper. It's being called the poor man's gold, and since you can find it in almost every appliance, its value has just gone through the roof. That's right, we're talking about copper. Heidi, last week we told you about copper thieves hitting the Gulf Gate Public Library, stealing the building's copper roofing. Before that, crooks at a Bradenton business called Roadrunner Highway Signs, stealing more than $50,000 of copper from there. Now it seems high voltage electricity still isn't enough to stop these guys.